Even as early as 1899, Nikola Tesla invented a device called the magnifying transmitter. This device could convert radiant energy in the atmosphere to electrical energy without any additional resource for its operation. This should have been a revolutionary invention, as it meant providing electricity to millions and millions of people with very little or no cost at all. However, Tesla was dependent on an investor, J.P. Morgan, for financial support for his project. Once he realized the full implication of Tesla's invention, the financier was more alarmed than pleased, as it meant loss of millions of dollars in terms of profit for electric companies. He immediately refused any further assistance to the development of the transmitter. Furthermore, he used his influence among other investors to make sure that no one provided any financial support for Tesla. And worst of all, Tesla's laboratory was found burned to the ground, though no evidence was found to indict the investor. And that was the end of Tesla's dream of free energy for everyone. Well, in some ways, it was, and in other ways, it was not. The electric companies got what they wanted. Free energy remains a mystery to the common people to this day. The companies keep getting millions and billions of dollars of profit every year. But even amid such setbacks, Tesla refused to give in completely. He no longer had the money to develop his magnifying transmitter the way he had intended. But he still constructed a miniature version of it. The scaled-down version of the device could not produce energy in huge amounts. But it still provided the much-needed proof of concept of its working. And that was more than enough to keep Tesla's invention alive. A few scientists, engineers, and even hobbyists, gained interest in Tesla's invention, and soon, more and more people were inventing devices for free energy based on one principle or another. The trend caught on, albeit among a minority of people, and now we have a century of research, analysis, invention, and improvement on a number of methods to produce electricity from free energy resources. Free energy devices just represent a class of a much wider range of products invented, even with abundant money, power, and influence, and despite their best efforts, the electric companies could not completely quell the concept of or inventions on free energy.